Hey everybody, this is Mark Scrubber and this is the YouTube channel Cooking with Bruce and Mark. I am returning to my Tejano Tex-Mex roots. Mm, if you saw my margarita video, you know that's where I'm headed. So this video is all about the best taco meat. Okay, I am ready to make the best taco meat. First of all, let me tell you, this is gonna be ground beef taco meat. I know there is a distinction in Tejano and Tex-Mex cuisine between ground pork and ground beef. I'm using ground beef because it's most like my childhood. But I have a tablespoon of vegetable oil, 15 milliliters. It's heating in the skillet and now I'm gonna add a chopped onion to this. One medium yellow or white onion. That's actually eight ounces or 225 grams if you're gonna buy pre-chopped onion is I want this to soften, not completely. So about a minute. Okay, you can see that I have done this for about a minute. The onions still have shape. They are just starting to turn vaguely translucent at the side. It's key, key to better texture, key. And into this, I am now adding a medium jalapeno that's been chopped up as well as three garlic cloves. I have taken the seeds out. You can leave the seeds in for a hotter taco meat. And again, this is just to warm these things up. Good God, don't brown the garlic under any circumstances. I'm already wafted in taco meat smoke. Delicious. Okay, so what do I want to add to this now comes the meat. As I said, mine is ground beef. A lot of people use ground pork. I grew up with El Phoenix in Dallas, Texas, and it was ground beef. And that's my childhood and that's my Tex-Mex roots. So that's where I'm going. I got a pound, about half a kilogram, and I'm using lean stuff. And this to me is actually important because tacos are gonna get all mm, filled up with sour cream and cheese and all that kind of good goopy stuff. And if you use meat that's too fatty, I find that the taco becomes just too much. Okay, the whole point of not overcooking the onions at the beginning and not overcooking the garlic and not overcooking the jalapeno, fresh jalapeno, was so that they continue to release their internal moisture into the ground beef as it cooks, not only providing better texture to the dish, but flavoring the ground beef actually with those vegetables. Okay, and here comes the two maybe controversial bits, but let me have it. I have three tablespoons or about 40 grams of tomato paste. Don't freak out at me if you're a Tex-Mex aficionado, because this is the taco meat I grew up with. I'm going back to El Phoenix. I'm going back to El Phoenix in Dallas and get that uh, a little bit dissolved in there. You don't have to be perfect yet because now you're gonna add some liquid to this. I want you to squeeze the juice of half a navel orange into this. I've cut my navel orange into quarters to get the best amount of juice out of it rather than squeezing a half. And now here comes my spices. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon of pure chipotle chili powder. Don't use standard American blend chili powder. I'm talking the pure chipotle. This chipotle are smoked jalapenos. So this is gonna give us a smoky flavor inside the taco meat. I'm using two teaspoons of salt, just plain old table salt, put that right in there. And then two teaspoons of dried oregano. If you can find dried Mexican oregano, good for you. I live in rural New England, which is why I wanna reinvestigate my Tex-Mex roots. I cannot find such thing. And a teaspoon of ground cumin. I have a friend who lives in Austin who thinks cumin is the flavor of the gods. She would easily double that. Now, notice how dry my skillet is. What you wanna do now is take broth. I'm probably gonna use, I don't know, maybe a half a cup in the end. And you know what? I am ready to make tacos. Before I taste this taco meat in tacos, let me say that the recipe is below me. Just click down below, you'll see the whole recipe laid out, both in volumes and weights. And let me know, what do you think? Do you make it with ground beef? Do you make taco meat with ground pork? How would you do it differently? What do you think about this orange in here? Let me know all of that stuff. I would be thrilled to interact with you. Subscribe to this channel, Cooking with Bruce and Mark, and now let's taste some tacos. Okay, I'm ready to taste. Now, I wanna say three things. <laughs> I got so much to say. Let me say three things. One, if you look at my taco meat, it is not soupy. 
it is not swimming. That's because I just moistened it with broth as it cooked, just until the ground beef was cooked through. And believe me, that's faster than you might think. I've seen recipes online that say cook the ground beef for 25 minutes. Are you kidding me? You're talking mm, three, five minutes at a good medium heat and the ground beef is done at that point. Don't dry it out. Okay, the second thing. I use Chipotle, pure Chipotle chili powder. This is hot. It is fiery hot with pure chipotle chili powder. If you don't like food quite this hot, do a little mix of mild smoked paprika and pure chipotle chili powder to make it mm, a little spicy. And finally, what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna put it in tortillas. I live in New England and the tortillas are crap. There's no good tortillas. You can't find them. We should talk about tortillas. I'm gonna use salsa. We should really talk about salsa sometime. This is salsa fresca. We should really talk about that. It's a fresh salsa, not a jarred cooked salsa or a cooked salsa on the stove. Salsa fresca and sour cream and of course, yellow cheese. What kind of cheese do you like on your tacos? I like yellow cheese. So. Okay, so here's how it goes. I'm gonna start with my gross New England flour tortilla. Look at this thing, it's too big. Ugh. Come on, what is wrong with people in New England? Okay, anyway, I'm doing, I'm going with what I can get. So I'm gonna put my taco meat in there. I'm gonna add shredded yellow cheese. It's gotta have yellow cheese, come on. What is wrong with you if you don't put yellow cheese in it? I like a little sour cream, maybe you don't. What are you liking in your tacos? Do you like sour cream? Do you like beans? And I'm gonna put a little bit of salsa fresca on it and here we go, ready? It's, it's too much tortilla. Okay, you know what? Here's my problem with New England. They just don't know anything. I'm getting rid of the end, so now I can eat it. Here we go. Mm. Come on. This is like my childhood. It's hot, oh, it's so hot. It's spicy, it's delicious, and hey, do you know this? You know what kills the burn from chilies? It is not iced tea and it is not beer. Capsaicin, the chemical in chilies that makes the burn, it is killed by fat. So the fat of that yellow cheese and the fat of that sour cream is exactly what's gonna calm down the burn in this, which is so delicious. I, uh, I've seen so many recipes for taco meat that add brown sugar, don't. Tomato paste adds the sweet. This is delicious. Make this taco meat. Let me know if you made it. Let me know how you make yours. Subscribe to this channel and otherwise, check us out next time. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be eating tacos. So, see ya.